Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create clean and simple Instagram stories, like this. So let's get started. First create a new vertical composition. 1080 by 1920, 30 frame per second, I call this main comp. Then create a new solid layer, and this is our background layer. Now select rectangle tool, and create a shape like this. Fill color according to your choice. And stroke none. Rotate the shape like this. Now we need to animate this, so go to around 1 second, hit P for position, and add a keyframe. Then go to first frame, and move the shape top side of the composition. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Cool. Now again select the rectangle tool, and create a small rectangle like this. Move anchor point center of the shape. And rotate the shape like this. Now we need to animate this. Now hit P for position. Go to around 1 second forward, and add a keyframe, then go to first frame, and move the shape top corner side of the composition, like this. Select both keyframe and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. Cool. Now duplicate the shape layer. Hit you to show keyframes, and select both keyframes, and move the shape below the first shape. Also move the layer few frame forward. Perfect. We need to create the same thing opposite side of the shapes. So duplicate the both shape layers, and move them together. Hit you to show keyframes, and delete the keyframes. Go to around one second and add a keyframe, and move the shape like this. Then go to first frame of the layer, and move opposite side of the comp. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now create a new composition. 1000 by 1000 pixels. And this is our image placeholder comp. Drag your image into the timeline, and resize according to your comp. Go to first frame and add a keyframe, then go to around 5 second forward, and increase the scale a little bit. Cool. Now go to main comp, and drag the image placeholder into the timeline, then select rectangle tool, and create a shape like this. Open rectangle 1, and increase the roundness around 30. And also rotate the shape. I think we should decrease the shape size little bit. Now select image placeholder, and change track matte alpha matte. 
Now we need to animate the shape layer, so hit S for scale, go to around 1 second, and unlink the scale amount, and add a keyframe, then go to first frame, and change the Y scale amount 0%. Select both keyframe, and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Also move both layer around 10 frame forward. Cool. Now we need to create a outline to our shape, so duplicate the shape layer. Turn on the layer. Fill color none, and stroke color white, and stroke around 5 pixel. Hit U to show keyframes, then go to the last keyframe and increase the scale amount, around 94%. I think we should decrease the scale amount a little bit, around 90%. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now select text tool. And type your text. Open text layer. Go to animate and select position. Then select opacity. Change X position, around 800. And opacity 0%. Then open range selector 1. Then open advance, change shape, ramp up. Go to around 1 second, and add a keyframe on offset, and change offset 100%, then go to first frame, and change amount minus 100%, select both keyframes and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. Cool. And also move the layer few frame forward. Perfect. Now create one more text bottom side of the composition. So select text tool and type your text. Open text layer. Go to animate and select position. And opacity. Change Y position bottom side of the comp. And opacity 0%. Then open range selector 1. Then open advance, and change shape, ramp up. Go to around 1 second. And add a keyframe on offset. Change amount 100%. Then go to first frame and change offset amount minus 100%. Select both keyframes and easy ease them and make your graph like this. Cool. Now go to add, selector and add an expression. Here I have an expression, so copy the expression. Hold alt key and click on stopwatch icon, and paste expression here. Perfect, it's look good to me. Also move the layer few frame forward. Now we need to add small text below the main text. Select text tool, and create a text area. And put your text. Now go to first frame and add a keyframe on opacity, and change opacity 0%, then go to few frame forward and change the opacity 100%, and move the layer a little bit. Cool. We want to also add some elements, so type plus and rotate them. Hit T for opacity, hold alt key and click on stopwatch icon. 
and type wiggle expression. Also rotate this, so hit R for rotation, go to first frame. And add a keyframe on rotation, then go to around 4 second forward, and change the rotation little bit. Now duplicate the layer, and move anywhere you want. You can also change the color. Again duplicate one more time, and move bottom side of the comp, and change the color. You can also change the rotation opposite side. Cool. Select all layers and turn on the motion blur. Our animation has done, hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel, for more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.